Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, tyrants within us, tyrants among us. We designed, we, I'm talking about intelligent, idealistic people, uh, designed political systems uh, and designed them in such a way that tyranny is avoided or limited. The possibility of our traits uh, being expressed in positions of power uh, should be limited. So that's why we did the checks and balances and all that, a rule of law, uh, to avoid tyrants getting what they are. We are all tyrants somewhere inside within us. The problem is if the environment allows us to express that trait, then it's going to be bad for the whole society. You know, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Now we try to avoid to get to absolute power. What happens here? We have an incident in Germany that reveals this trait and trend of governments to become more and more ty tyrannical. And I'm not talking about governments, I'm talking about people in governments, because the government is formed by people. And uh, what am I talking about? This is just an example that I will make a general uh, analysis of this train trend. This article comes from Reuters from December 11th, 2022. Germany to tighten gun laws after suspected coup plot, minister says. So what happened? It happened that uh, some people allegedly, reportedly tried to um, organize a coup in Germany. 24 people arrested, 40 some were suspect, uh, suspects, and uh, something like that. It seems like uh, the security forces or services were also involved in a way that they were afraid that that might spread. They talked about something about the military. The suspect, main suspect, is a prince, 71 year old prince, who supposedly wanted to overthrow the government. Okay, uh, well, his attempt failed. I don't think that he, they, they, they even started it. They just talked about it and supposedly, why am I saying supposedly? Because the information comes from the government and uh, you should be always skeptical of, as a general rule, everyone and everything you get and particularly whatever the government tells you. Skepticism uh, protects you from uh, being fooled, okay? Now, what's going on here? They tried to tighten the gun laws that are already in Germany, you know, like this, li very limited. Using this incident is an argument. So, hey, it was a, an attempt. We should immediately tighten the gun laws. Well, from the gun laws, we're going to go to free speech and we're going to go to freedom of assembly, all to protect us, all of us. You see, there was the coup. Well, does that sound familiar to you? If it doesn't sound familiar to you, I will bring it to you so it becomes very familiar to you. In 1933, the same spot, Germany, Deutschland, there was a guy called Adolf and he was the chancellor of Germany. He worked within the system. His party, the Nazi party, was democratically elected in the Reichstag, Reich, 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 however you call it, I think, and Reichstag is a building, I think. But he was elected by the population, right? And he became the uh, dominant party and Hitler was appointed as the chancellor. So he was the guy, democratically everything fair. Now, in 1933, there was an, a fire, an attack on the Reichstag, which is the building where the parliament sits, like the capital. The uh, guys in power, which was the Nazis, the government, said, well, that was set by some communist, communists. Therefore, they, what did they do? They started limiting certain kind of powers, like this guy says, the freedom, tighten gun laws. That's what they did, the Nazis. So let me read you here. I, uh, I'm going to use Twitter, which is the easiest way to uh, uh, express this, and the Reichstag fire. It was on Monday, 27th of February, 1933. 
precisely four weeks after Nazi leader Adolf Hitler was sworn in as the Chancellor of Germany. Now, what happened? He says that uh, uh, the fire was done by some communist agitators. The government told them then, right? The government, which was the Nazis in this case. And uh, he, Adolf, used it as a pretext, pretext to claim the communists were plotting against the German government. Like these guys right here. Uh, and in, induced President uh, Paul von Hindenburg to issue the Reichstag Fire Decree suspending civil liberties as pursue of and pursue a ruthless confront confrontation with the communists. This made the fire pivotal, pivotal to the establishment of Nazi Germany. Now, so they issued limited the liberties because a fire. And they say, well, there's a group somewhere. We need to protect you. We're going to infringe your liberties. Do not think that those guys over there then were not human and these are not human. We are all human. The idea is not that, oh, those had those ideas. Oh, yeah, they had those ideas. But the problem here is, is they wanted more power. And what makes you think that these guys now don't want more power? Give me one reason. Don't tell me they're more civilized or they're more something. No, they're human. They have the same structure and they will. And by saying that, that tells me they're the same kind of uh, human. Like all of us have that power desired, have that tyranny inside of us. Now, this is uh, uh, this kind of uh, thing when something happened, an, an incident, you make a general rule and you infringe everybody else's Freedoms, I saw it very, uh, how should I put it, uh, a few months ago, a few years ago. If you remember, it was something that is very um, fresh in our mind when you had certain kind of incidents and then you take over and you become a tyrant, which means you impose everybody else based on those particular incidents. All right. So let's say I'm driving a car and there's a deer, an animal. Jumps in front of my car, I hit the deer, the deer dies, and I die. And in my car, there's two children, and so on. All right, we all die. And the government comes and says, you know what, you know what we're going we're gonna to do? We're going to ban cars. Because if Emil would have not driven the car, no accident occurred. All right? You can say, that's fucking bullshit. Yes, exactly. The same thing with this gun laws, then uh, they try to limit. Or they would say, you know what, it's time to exterminate all the deer population so there's no more deer jumping in front of the car. What would be the argument? There will always be deer. I mean, it's awful what, you, what, what you're proposing. There will always be deer. You just have to be more careful. We have to find other methods that we can uh, avoid that. That would happen. If it's not going to be a deer, it's going to be a horse, it's going to be a coyote, it's going to be a rabbit, it's going to be something that would jump in front of a car. What are you going to do? Exterminate all the animals? Ban cars? Maybe ban humans from driving? What are you going to do? You see, there's certain levels. The fact that these guys jumped to the guns immediately, that tells me a lot about the character of those guys and the intentions. The thing is an, an, another one. Um, there was no guns involved in this one. There was no guns involved. And that was a group. You expect, this is a, a, a child mentality, when, when, when I hear people thinking that the world could be, imagine all the people, blah, 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 John Lennon, that's a, an, an infantile way of looking at the world. Why? It doesn't mean you, you cannot aim at that, but you have to understand that's a utopia impossible to get that one. Why? Because we are human and we have all kind of traits. We are the way they are. we are. It doesn't mean that we should not look for that. We can, but we, it's, a, it's a trash hole that if we cross it, we, try, we cross it, we become tyrants at that point. Why? Oh, I'm going to do this for you guys. No more driving. The same, I'm going to take your guns, maybe freedom of speech, maybe no more radio, radio on TV, because these guys might organize. Now, how is an adult in real life uh, function? 
This kind of things will always happen. You will always have people, always will have people with other opinions and other thoughts, other ideologies. You can't make it like a, uh, how do you call it, a clinically clean, you know, sterile society. You can't, other, uh, if you take our brains, desires out of our bodies and we're just robots, you can achieve that. By, by taking these guys, uh, limiting their uh, right, I don't even have the right over there, to, uh, to have, bear, have guns, to own guns. It's a different. Germany is a, no, no, it's not a free country. They call it that way, free world, but it's not. It is not. Anyway, it's freer than others, but very, very, very controlled. Um, you know, they make this point with a goal in mind, more control. They, they think that if they take the guns, there will be no more thoughts. It's like, oh, I'm gonna take the guns uh, so the crime is gonna disappear. It's not gonna disappear. People will use baseball bats, They're gonna use their bare hands. What they're gonna do, cut their hands before so you prevent it. They're gonna use knives. They're gonna use many other means. They're gonna use the car to commit crimes and then the violent crimes. So what are they gonna do? So it's an impossibility. You say, well, we should limit it like that, you jump straight to that. Why, why is that? Do you think that's gonna, gonna prevent a new coup to, to happen? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. This is aimed at something else, not to preventing another coup. Because it's like preventing other people to organize, to think, to have different views, different desires, different expectations from the life. And it's always gonna be like that. You have to just do what you do best and make sure that you uh, uh, how, how unfold uh, the, the, the attempts. There will be attempts. It's like a criminal. There will be criminals attacking you in this life. You can't have a world without criminal thoughts and criminal actions. That's going to happen. What does that mean? You're going to try to eliminate all the criminal thoughts, therefore all the criminals? It's impossible. So how are you going to limit it? I tell you how. We're not going to have contact with one another again. And that's going to solve the problem. That means there's not going to be any criminal able to come to you. How? If we live in, in uh, prison cells. And someone, the good guys, the government, tells us when we can interact. To go out and eat. Maybe we can eat in our uh, uh, prison cells. Only then we can, we can have a sterile society where no more crime, nothing will happen. You want that? I don't want that. But some people who want protection and comfort and safety and they value that the most that would be they would be okay sitting in a room all day watching tv being given food and working over there in the little cell and being like that well i don't like that why because i don't think that's the the, the human nature and those people who are like that that's the weak uh, that's the weak uh, how to put it uh, strata of our society they should be okay. They, if they want to do that, they should do that. But they should not infringe my rights to live my life outside of that with freedom and democracy, I was about to say. Pfft, you know. So make no mistake, this little jump straight to the weapons is not to protect people. It's to get more power in the hands of some human tyrants. Like all of us, more or less. Believe me, if us, we talk now, oh, those are tyrants, those are tyrants. We can criticize them. For good reason, we can judge them. Yes, we can. But the problem is we have to limit it a little bit to be a little bit more humble because as uh, Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. Reverend, you know that guy, he said, well, maybe we, he was talking to the, his black uh, African-American whatever population, he said, we should not judge the whites as roughly as we do, he said, because we don't know how we would have reacted or we would have acted if we were in their shoes. Maybe we would have been worse than them. So that's why I keep it a little bit more, uh, you know, well, well, those are tyrants like I'm doing right now. Those are tyrants because I'm a saint. No, 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 no. That's why I started this. We are all tyrants within. But some people get to express it more than others. Yeah, so I think this is the Reichstag moment as it was, uh, for instance, here, the January 6th, blah, 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 and tra-la-la. And they are waiting for each and every subject reason to put a little mask on your face and uh, do all kind of things to you to control you because that happened and that happened and that happened for the public safety. 
and you have that group in a society, that strata, that uh, particular group that you always going to have them supporting you because they are scaredy cats. That's what they are. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.